square root of zero is equal to zero and square root of 100 is equal to 10. What is the square root of 50? Well, square root of 49 is seven. So square root of 50 is a little bit more than that. It's about 7.071078. Is that weird that it's not in the middle of them? Well, let's look at the graph. So this right here is the graph of y equals square root of x. And you can see what happens as we begin to zoom out, it appears to be leveling out. The square root of 100 is 10. Half of that is not truly half. It's gonna be a little bit above it. Doesn't this appear to be starting to level out? What if we try the square root of 1,000 versus the square root of 500? What does that end up giving us? So if you remember root 50 over root 100 was about this over 10, which is about 70.71%. When we look at root 1,000, that's about 22.36068 over 31.62278. Guess what? That's also 70%. But wait, it's starting to look like it's leveling out. When we zoom in here into the zero, you can see it's clearly it looks like it's getting steeper. So what happens if we do something like square root of one and square root of one half? Because that's definitely steeper there. So let's look at this ratio, square root of one half to one. Well, square root of one is one and square root of one half is 0.70711. So that means it's also 70.71%. Even though as we get closer and closer to zero, and as we zoom in, it looks like it's getting steeper. It's still that same ratio of roughly 70.71%. Here's the math behind it. If we're doing some number, any number X over root two X. That's the same thing as root X over root two times root X, because we can split them up. These root X's can cancel each other out. So we're just left with one over root two. And root two is about 1.41421. And when we do this division, we get about 70.71%. So it doesn't matter how close we get, even though this looks steep, if we take the square root of some number and the square root of half that number, that other number is always going to be 70.71%. Pretty crazy, huh?